Hey everybody, Grimer here coming at you once again from the Clubhouse server, doing a little bit more building, a little bit more additions onto the town here, which I still don't have a name for. If you guys wouldn't mind actually giving me a name for this place. It's got a canyon where we dig up some stone. It's got a field where there's a village and probably some farms over there on the hill behind me. Uh, one day, I'll probably have that. Anyway, I could use I could use some name suggestions for this place. So uh, those of you watching, if you guys wouldn't mind down in the comment section, just let me know. You know, let me know what you guys think uh, for a name for this place. It's kind of a valley-esque kind of... I don't know what to even call this. I'm bad at naming. If you watch the Zawa series, you know I'm bad at naming. But anyway, today what I want to do is I want to do some work over here. So here's the second uh, crane right here. There's the one we built in the last episode. In fact, I went ahead and went over there and actually finished all the supports for that place. Oh, it's getting nighttime. Um, finished all the supports for that place over there. And uh, yeah, that's done. I left a little extra space over there because I have something else in mind there. Either that's going to be a place to put more stockpile resources, kind of like what I did on this one, or how are the workers supposed to get down here? Like the people working in the canyon? Do they just like jump off the cliff or something? Like that that kind of was something that uh, came into my head all of a sudden one day. I was like, wait, I don't have any way to get down here. I still need to make like uh, like staircases, basically. I need to make like a staircase of some kind or maybe another elevator similar to what these... I mean, I suppose I could ride the cranes down, which would be probably against every OSHA standard out there but i mean they, they probably could i mean i don't really think they, there's anyone governing their safety around here so but what I, th I thought about doing was putting like a staircase in right here that kind of goes down the the cliff actually and he zigzags down and comes out somewhere down here and that's how the workers actually get down there i did deliberately leave that chain off of that platform right there because i want to create a walkway that way uh leading to other parts as well as maybe even this this building here so that that's one way that they could get uh, down there is actually right there. Then I gotta I gotta do some thinking on that. But today I want to do a little small lumber camp over here. Now this is not gonna be a big building. In fact, it's probably not even gonna be building anything. It might be a little hut for some shelter in the rain, and that's about it. Uh, but this is basically where they process some of the lumber to get it into log form, so they can hand it down there, which is probably some place where I'm gonna have to build a, a larger lumber camp then. But for here, they basically just need to cut it up. They need to cut these things up. So I thought I'd take the stone cutter that I've had in my inventory forever and uh, slap this thing down somewhere, like right um, here. Nope, no, no, I don't want, I want the blade turned the other way. Right here, all right. So I'm gonna be trying to come up with, I'm gonna be winging it because that's how I roll. Um, try to come up with some kind of design that looks like a, a like a, a channel that they'd have the log come down and hit this blade so it looks like it's cutting it. So I, I, I gotta work in half slabs here because whole blocks, you know, if you place a whole block next to this, it's actually not gonna hit the blade, which I guess wouldn't be bad. Like the blade might come up and, you know, when it's cutting or something like that. But what I wanna do is I wanna have this actually kind of set inside a channel, actually. Uh, let me do this, break this up just a wee bit. Something like this. Now, along the sides here, if I do, uh, let me uh, let me put that away for a second. If I do something along the lines of this, oops, something like this, it should create a pretty awesome like like channel actually that this thing can uh, reside in. Now, I actually can just use a stone cutter for this part. I need no, I don't have any smooth stone. Do I have in here, I got some of these things. That's all I really need. All right, let's go ahead and take a couple of them here. Because uh, I need a couple more of these guys. At least one. I probably only need... Yeah, I could get get away with one. Alright, so there we go. There it is. It's like a little trough that it can just feed things out onto this hole. I still haven't fixed this hole. Um, i trying to think about where the logs would go when they come out this way. Might have to build a little platform holding them in place right there. So, something... I mean, I guess the crane could literally grab them if it swung around this way. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and <laughs> get this thing in place. Uh, get a log actually in place, getting cut here, getting in place to be cut. Now, I do want to have uh, some way of making it look like it's rolling, because this is just kind of sticking out the end there, so I thought I'd actually take these guys, and uh, uh, maybe this would be a good excuse to use more of these uh, stone bricks here. They cracked ones as well. Let's get them down in here. Let's get my... Uh, Shovel on the hopper here, and let's dig this up here. Get this part all cleared out. And what I want to do is I want to take something like this and sprinkle maybe some cobble. And if I had coarse dirt, do I have coarse dirt anywhere? I would actually do that. Yes, I do. Look at that. Perfect. Um, 
Something like that, okay? Not not very symmetrical, which is what I like. And then this guy, smack right, right down there. So that kind of looks like a wheel. It's just wheeling this through. Now, I actually kind of need to do the same thing over here. So I kind of need to dig this up. And then maybe uh, put one right there and possibly one right there. And then, uh, where's this? Yeah, this stuff. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so then this guy would be right here. And this would be basically there to wheel the log across as it's getting cut. You know, it'd get chopped in half, actually. But, you know, this whole area right here might need to be dug back just a wee bit. Just to make this make sense just a bit. Something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. After all, this is just a still frame of what's going on. And, hey, the log fits back there. So, all right. So, this is going to be, hopefully, this looks kind of like a actual, like, a sawmill kind of thing as it's working its way down. I don't know. I just winged it. I didn't even look up anything that would even could be a re good representation of what I was going for. Basically, I'm horribly underprepared, but I just went for it anyway. All right. <laughs> so then over here, I wouldn't mind actually making like a little bit of a camp, like a, uh, you know, not not like an actual building. I just need like something with some supports, a, a roof, and then maybe, uh, maybe a campfire. Actually, that might work. make sense because the workers, if they need to take a break or whatever, I also need to go ahead and add cut down trees. Now there are these trees, but um, I wouldn't mind adding because I could just ta da cut down tree, which I might add a couple in here or there, you know. But uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little custom stumps in because this area is naturally cleared on its own. But if I add it in a little bit, then it wouldn't look like that. It would look like it was deforested. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Maybe let me cut it even, like flat, like that, and then maybe you can add like the the roots. Oh, actually, you know I'm gonna need um, if I'm gonna do roots and stuff, I'm gonna need some of this stuff going on. Uh, because this isn't going to cut it. Something like this. Yeah, something like that. Awesome. Do this. Like that. Good, good. Alright, so that is like a cut down tree, actually. Um, at least that's what it's supposed to be. Squint your eyes a little. Maybe you can see it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put a few of these in places, too. And that uh, Basically, they're harvesting the birch wood uh, from this forest is what I'm trying to go for here. So let's, uh, let's throw another one. Ooh, that's not the right, the right stuff. That's bad. Uh, let's uh, put one right here as well. Another four, uh, two by two base on the thing. And then just sprinkle in some of the, some of the, um, what do they call them? Uh, roots, root bases here. And let's put one in right here. I don't actually need to use a weird one for that one. I can actually just put a normal uh, wood block in there. All right, sweet. So there's there's two, two stumps there now. I, I did a stump similar to this on Vintage Craft in the mountains uh, for the lumber camp that I had up there, but they had the the uh, armor stands that you could tweak and make invisible, and I gave it an axe to hold, and it looked like there was an axe like stuck on the side. It was it was I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, I do wish they'd have the armor stand plug in on this one because that'd be great. But you know, this is this is definitely good enough. I can I can make this work. All right, let's go ahead and uh, flatten this out just a wee bit more. And then maybe I'll put one right here, too. Just like that. Um, yeah. And then I'll sprinkle in these other ones along the way uh, periodically, too. Uh, yeah, let's do this right here. I need one more of those pieces. Dang it. Yeah, something like that. Now, the, this other one that I have is just going to kind of take up space in my inventory, so I might try to squeeze this in someplace. I just don't know where. Right there. Done. All right. All right, so there. Yeah, there's there's a few uh, stumps that are knocked down, so now I just got to add in a couple of other little ones here there, and then it should look like this place is pretty well deforested. And uh, I also want to go through and add a couple of, uh, you know, bushes and whatnot in the area, too, to make it look like... I don't really like that one. Nope, 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 nope. It's right on the edge there. It kills the grass, which it did, but... Um, yeah, this place will look at least like it's a little deforested then. And uh, and then I just got to make it look a little bit more like a woods, because honestly, this although the trees look kind of cool... Uh, there's a lot more leaves and brushes and bushes and stuff like that in the woods other than just a little bit of tall grass. So I wouldn't mind uh, adding a little bit of a, 
a little bit of greenery up here. Uh, it'll create a good border also because I don't intend on going back into the woods actually. I just want to kind of stop it right here. Uh, but then there's also got to be like pads and stuff. Now I do need this little shelter, so I'm just going to really quick wing, uh, whip this up here. Let's um, uh, let's uh, get some cobble fences going. Some cobble walls. Okay, six of them? Six sounds good. Yeah. Alright, so for the... Mm, I think for like the base of this thing. Um, put it right there. Right there. And then because I don't want to make it easy on myself. <laughs> put it right there. And... Oh, I might have screwed this up. Let's actually do this. Like that, yeah, all right, let's knock this one out here. I think it's getting nighttime again. I'm gonna have to snooze. I'm gonna have to also make some room in my inventory by chucking that. All right, let's take a nap here so that horrible, terrible things don't come and blow me up while I'm doing this building. All right, and then uh, I can actually replace this for right now. Let's take these guys and put them on these edges. Yeah, all right, it's, it's, it's a bit of a, like a triangle esque kind of a support here and then for this one right here um mm, mm, mm. <laughs> let's do it right there maybe something like this and this one will be a little bit higher yeah all right so that should work now i gotta do something about my inventory because there's no way i can build when i got this much crap in there <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and dump all this stuff in here for right now. All right, so I need, uh, I'm going to make this out of the woods. They, um, like the oak wood, which is a little bit, and spruce wood would be good too. I'm probably going to need more than that, which luckily I do have some of that on me. So let's go over here and drop this down. Actually, you know what? I could probably put this actually in here someplace because it's going to make sense if it is. Um, all right, and then uh, let's get some more oak wood going for sure. Like so. And then I might still need a little bit more than that. But what I'm going to do... Oops, I'm not going to do that. That's not, not at all what I was hoping for. What I'm going <laughs> to what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to create what looks like a draped cloth on this thing. Yeah. Doesn't sound like a good idea when I say it a lot because it's not going to be easy to do. But basically it has to go this shape but it has to drop down a little too at the same time. So... And I gotta sprinkle, if I can, to sprinkle in the stuff right here, I'll, I'll do it, but, um, yeah, something like this, let's see. Yeah, alright, so that, that's fine, that's, that's working out right here, I gotta do something similar. Uh, let's just bring it down immediately, and immediately, like that. Hmm, maybe I gotta raise this up just a little bit, like that. Okay, yep, yep, yep. All right, this is looking all right. Now I have to get it to go up there. Like I said, this isn't supposed to be a shelter. This is supposed to be uh, a, a tent, basically, for the most part of the stuff just kind of stuck in here. Um, yeah, okay, yep, yep. <laughs> it's weird, the, the vision I have in my head is, uh, is, is unformed for the most part, so I really have to kind of think on this one. It has to come over a little bit, so it's got to follow the shape like that. So this, though, definitely has to be brought down. Oh, not like that. Okay, so that's, this is actually a thing. Got to be down like that. And then this one will also be a thing, I'm thinking. Can I leave it like that? Yeah, I probably want it like this, actually. That's a whole block. Uh, that's not what I wanted. All right, let's do it here, and then remove this one. And this one actually probably can be brought up like that. Yeah, I think that'll work out fine. Yeah, all right. This is not what you call just a 90 degree shape by any means. This is actually a little bit more advanced than that. Something, something, something dark side. Uh, no, let's knock that one back. How's this look? Because this one only goes over one. This one doesn't have to go over that much. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably pretty good right where it's at. Now I just have to worry about the, how it drops down. And that's a whole block. Figures. Okay. Let's do this. Let's squirt one of those guys in there. Knock this out here. Something along the lines of that, actually. 
is all I really need to do to it. Um, this can be that still. Actually, I want to change this up just a wee bit. Although, I, not, never mind, I'm going to keep it. Otherwise, I'll run the risk of going checkered, and I don't really like doing that. Uh, let's do this. And something along the lines of this. Okay. Oh, there's a hole. There's a hole in, in the ceiling. That's probably not great. All right, so that's that's it. That's actually exactly what I was thinking. All right, there's a small shelter, but this stuff just kind of draped over the back of it. It's not supposed to be super detailed, and in a sense, like it's not supposed to be, you know, like a, a structure. This is literally like if they if they put a tarp over some supports, this is what you'd get. Uh, I don't really want to do anything more than that. Uh, I do need some barrels, and I don't know if I have any more, but I do want, also want to... This is going to be like a little storage area also. I'm going to put a campfire right here. Hopefully the sawdust doesn't ignite on it. So, All right, let's put that down there, and uh, put that down there, and then let's start making some barrels, actually, because I think that would be a really good idea. Um, uh, I, I don't know what I'm doing there. They ignore that. That was just me kind of thinking I could make slabs out of two different colored woods because I've played Minecraft before. All right, so let's, let's get some of these that made into those, and then let's uh, let's craft these into barrels. Uh, two. That's all I was able to make. That's not that's not great. I got to make more than that. All right, let's uh, can we make more than that? Oh, okay. One. Let's make this campfire real fast because I'm going to need that, and then barrels. I need more eight. That's better. All right. So, let's get the barrels down here. There it is. And, uh, let's just stack them up like so in here. So this should look like a supply tent, basically. Something like this, yeah. Should look a little bit like a supply tent. Now, I wouldn't mind actually getting a good old-fashioned Minecraft chest in here. Now let's make this out of spruce wood. It's easier to collect. Good old-fashioned Minecraft chest. Like so, right there. Bam. Awesome. Now I gotta do that up the land still down there, but um, the campfire itself, I'm thinking, is gonna go right here. Off to the side of it a little bit. I do need to add more campfires in here, because it makes the place look like there's life. You know, because a campfire is not accidental. So like right there, you see it coming out of the chimney, it makes it look like it's busy, like there's life. But that's the only thing I got happening in the town. So I gotta add chimneys and stuff, you know? I gotta do things like that. Uh, I still have this uh, coarse dirt, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna definitely wanna dig up this land here. And I can replace the stuff that I wanna put back, obviously. It's Minecraft, nothing set in stone. Unless it is literally set in stone. Um, but nothing's permanent. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and pick that up too. Just drop that back in there. Alright, so this will basically be like a busy, 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 busy area. In fact, I might want to remove like all of this here. Because this is going to be a very busy area. This is where people are going to be working constantly and moving constantly. And this whole thing is going to be busy, busy, busy. Uh, so I gotta definitely make sure I get this part correct as far as how it gets down there. I gotta, I got, I'll work on that on off camera is how to smooth that into the into the actual supports. But for right here, this is definitely going to be important. What do I got in here? What what resources do I have up here? This is probably going to be important as well. The wood, not so much anymore. I can actually drop that all back in there, or at least whatever I can fit. Hey, there's my barrels. Uh, in fact, let's uh, let's just chuck one of these guys up here too, as, as if they had to like research a type of wood or something like that, you know. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and put that back in here. Uh, let's get some of these things in here. I, I should be working on the floor, but I'm too busy like doing stuff like this. Um, yeah, see, I like that. Not that one. All right. Um, where is uh, this? Would probably be good-ish. This would be better-ish. Okay. Yeah, I can work with that. This right here, I can work with that. All right, so let's go ahead and sprinkle in like crazy this. Because that's gonna need to be the dominant block in the area for sure. Um, I do wanna make sure that's a little broken up so it's not so in your face kind of thing, you know? Right here, I'll put the stone underneath there. Well, that probably shouldn't be stacked up on top of each other. That would look weird. All right, and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to sprinkle in this stuff. 
Mm hmm Just like this. Nope, not that. Nope. Perfect. Alright, and then maybe one in here too. Yep. Alright, good. And then I'm going to drop in the occasional stone block in here. Perfect. Done. Alright, and then the rest are going to be grass filled in. And it's going to be, you know, matted, matted down path blocks. And that should make this look pretty busy. I might even leave a little bit of grass here, like right there. You know, so it looks like there's still some vegetation kind of going on. Oops. Something, something freaked out there. I think I double clicked. It's also getting nighttime, so I'm going to have to sleep. Let's take a power nap right here. I love the fact that you can just carry so much weight on you in Minecraft and it doesn't slow you down. It's a beautiful thing. All right, like that, good. This place is coming together nicely. This really should be broken up by something. So, right there, now it's broken up by something. That's fine, yep, all right. Yeah. Oh no, dang it, that did not place where I wanted it to. Ruined the path block too in the process. Good, all right, like that, like that. Like in all of this. All right, so that, that's definitely looking a lot more busy, you know. Um, a couple of little things I could do to help it along a little bit uh, to make it look a little bit more busy. Do I have any cobble slabs? Yeah, right here. Okay. Maybe chuck one of these things down occasionally in here so it's not as smooth. It's, you know, because right there it's a pretty flat surface so that just adds a little bit of depth and texture to it a, a wee bit. Not much. It's just a very subtle thing, but it works. Let's get a couple of pebbles in there as well. And it will slowly stop looking so flat and actually start looking like it's it's supposed to be there. It's like that. Bam. All right. So I think that's it for the lumber camp right there. I mean, that's that's basically what I wanted to do. Um, now I do need to do that do that up this part. Now I thought I saw some bushes in here. Not a lot. Okay, so I gotta go grab some stuff. I don't, I, can, I think I'm gonna spare the, the jungle leaves up here though. But I am gonna make sure that I include at least some bushes up in this area but i definitely need to go get more oak leaves before i can actually finish that because um yeah this is not gonna cut it i don't have a lot here and plus most of this stuff wouldn't even be oak leaves you know it'd be it'd be birch leaves <laughs> the birch leaves and oak leaves do look very similar i think one's just a little less vibrant and that's the birch leaves but yeah it's all right all right, so just by adding a couple of those in there, that already makes that this whole place look a little bit better. I'm going to also add some gravel and stone piles into this area as well, so that it looks like maybe they had to clear out some of the land, or maybe this is just part of the landscape itself. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I think it'll look good if I blend it all together right. Um, it's really up to me to make it look right. All right, so mixed in here especially like back here or so I think that putting in like a stone pile of some kind would look pretty good something like that now it doesn't have to be too elaborate um, but yeah something like that and then you know put, dotting those around occasionally up here too I think will make this place look really interesting it definitely starts to look like a different biome like um like, it, I didn't change the grass, obviously, and I don't think I'm going to because that's quite an extensive project for just... This is just the outer details, you know? Like, this isn't... I might not even add any more bushes. This looks pretty good with them spread out the way it is. Um, but yeah, like I said, this just these added little details like this, I think, make this place pop just a little bit. Uh, a little bit more than just a, a, a standard just forest that I, I could have left here, you know? But yeah, little stone piles like this go a long way. And I'm going to come through and add some pebbles in here as well. But yeah, it does definitely give this place a different feel. Huh. It's kind of interesting. Alright, let's throw one back that, back here as well. Make this one a little bit taller. And have a little different shape in it as well. Something. Let's get that even a little bit taller more. Something like this. Yeah. It's like that. All right, I think that's good for that one right there. Yeah, and then maybe a small one over here too. Something not too elaborate. 
but definitely the same kind of style. Like that. I think that, that's good. All right. What does this look like from a distance? I know this isn't really adding much to this, and there's a lot more detailing. Similar to what I did right here, I want to do kind of in this whole area. It's, it's going to be a, an ongoing project. I'll, I'll probably do quite a bit of it off camera just because I like it whenever, you know, my, my creative juices really flow whenever I'm just, like, not recording. Just kind of hanging out, relaxing, you know, trying to see what I can build. Um, but every once in a while, I do want you guys to see the process, the, the method to this madness, uh, so to speak. Let's go ahead and bring this over just a wee bit more. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a fence, kind of jaggedy. Ow, oh, burning myself. Oh, that actually made me jump. <laughs> Kind of a jaggedy one right here to kind of keep people from falling off the cliff. Uh, and yeah, I think that's going to be about it then. Um, I do need to get more light sources other than just that one lantern up here though. Uh, so I might need to do... I'm going to need more lanterns basically. But I might actually want to make... Oh, actually, hold on. I got an idea. Where is it? This thing right here. I might actually want to make like a... Well, that might get knocked over by the crane. Probably right here actually. Um... Like a thing. I might want to make like a thing. One of these things. Alright, I, I think I put all of my wood back. That I need now. This right here for sure. Let's see if, Oh, I just jumped right on the blade. That would have been uh, instant death. Yep, definitely dead. Lost my legs. Steve no longer has legs. Um, actually, no. I'm, I'm not Minecraft Steve. I'm actually Grimer. Uh, so Grimer no longer... I don't really have legs. I'm the Grim Reaper. And so it doesn't... I don't know. I guess I never really had them think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I can put these on the underside. Yeah, I can. Okay, there we go. Add a little fence right there. All right, not a fence. Add a little uh, lamppost right there for this area. Awesome. That turned out really well. All right, so I think, uh, I think I can put all this stuff back now. And I think, let's see, where's this, uh, this, this can go in here. I gotta, I gotta organize this stuff. Man, it's a disaster. All right, but I think that's about it. I think the lumber camp is, for the most part, finished. I should also eat before I starve to death. Wow, I didn't even realize that. I think the lumber camp is, for the most part, finished right here. The rest is all just path blocks and kind of doing some detailing up here, which is what I'll get to work on in between episodes, because I think this episode has come to an end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little session of building with Grimer here on uh, the Clubhouse server. Still having fun. This actually, this server I'm still having a, a lot of fun on. I'm really kind of making some advancements, too. It's, um... It's coming along really nicely. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. And if you are enjoying this, please be sure to smash that like button down below. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the series. So uh, thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and ear holes to this episode. I will catch you next week. Thanks again for watching. And bye-bye.